Hey, this is Faux Song Elizabeth Cookie, CEO, Mistress, Secretary of Goddesses Incorporated, and the ultimate mascot dealing with anything with anime, fighting video games, and women of the Bisojo Senshi universe. Now, before I tell you what episode 23 is about, I just wanted to say that I hope everybody enjoyed my footage from Anime Next 2009. I did my best to get all the coverage of the convention, although there was a lot that I just could not get because there was a lot of overlapping of the time with different events, different panels, and different showcases. <sighs> I want to say that going to the anime conventions these times around, you can learn so much, yet you can meet so many different kind of people, both good, the bad, the ugly, the negative, and just the unnecessary. I guess back when I started going to anime conventions back in 2002, it was a wonderful experience because back then people was more appreciative of the music, the culture, the art, and people was just plain positive. Anime Next 2009 remind me of one thing, that anime is starting to become a fad here in the United States of America. It's starting to die down because when you have for Kids Entertainment and WB or the new CW and other anime networks that are heavily editing our anime it is now censoring it is now censoring the anime that we could really get it's just destroying everything let me just say it like that nobody never gets to see anything good they're producing what they feel will make money here in the US that's what it's about and not everybody is getting what anime can, what you can really get out of a really good Japanese animation. Um, I feel that when going to these anime conventions now, we meet so many negative people, so many angry people. The video game world and the anime world was meant to be the one place in the cyber universe or the underground universe where people can come and be themselves. I'm starting to understand that now this universe is being under attack by a lot of negative people and haters all around the board. And this is what I gotta say to that. People, y'all can leave that shit home. When you come to an anime convention, you're supposed to come there to have fun. Leave all that negativity elsewhere. If you're not into anime, if you're not a fan or you don't consider yourself an otaku, then you just need to stop and find something that your true heart is truly, really interested in. Enough said, point blank. Now on to my episode, episode 23. How to support the habit. Now, if we are fans of anime or otaku of anime, video games or whatever the case may be, dealing with Asian culture, Japanese, Chinese or Korean, whatever your passion is, we got to support the interest. That means we need to have a means of financial income constantly flowing because it is a very expensive hobby, it is a very expensive endeavor, and it is a very expensive interest. So that means right now having financial residual income coming in flowing after all bills are paid for is something that we all must consider. I notice that nowadays not too many people know how to get a job. They say that, oh, we're waiting for the person to call us back, but the employee didn't call us back. Old jobs are too hard to find because it seems like there's just so much competition. Bullshit world. This is how you get a job. And this is episode 23. How to get a job and keep our interest in the things that we like from coming to an end. First things first. Let me destroy some of the myths for you. When a job says that they'll give you a call, newsflash, they are not going to give you a call. What they want to see is people who are outgoing, who are persistent, that will harass the shit out of them. Those are the people that they will deem and credit as people who are, will be on time and are indispensable to their company. And it doesn't matter if it's a job at McDonald's, Every two weeks you should be hounding that employer until you can tell them why they cannot give you a job there and tell them why you are most deserving to work there. There's no reason in the world why the person next to you getting a job that you can't have the same one or even better than they because why you are more deserving than them. That goes for any job. 
the best process that has always worked for me is I go in with my resume in handy, I come in with a suit and tie, quote, suit and tie, looking presentable for work. You're not trying to be better than anybody, you're just trying to look presentable because you're trying to impress the person with power, which is a person that has the power to give you the job. Yes, so we're coming in with a suit and a tie, we're coming ready with our resume and our application is filled out nice and neatly and, and not crinkled up. Second, you will go and you will speak with the employer and let them know about your qualifications and your skills and your assets and you will portray yourself as somebody who is willing to learn because somebody who knows everything really doesn't know it at all and the employer doesn't want someone that knows everything they want somebody that they can actually teach then after you go through the interview and you laugh and you smile and you make sure you keep eye contact you ask them so when does it take for them to process your application most likely they'll say they'll give you a call back or it takes about a couple of weeks then that's when you let the employer know that you will contact them in two weeks, either by phone or in person. Then, in two weeks, the same day that you came in is the same time you want to come back in two weeks from the day that you gave them the application because you want to let them know that you are serious. A job is a job, and in today's time, it doesn't matter. Swallow your pride. Get out there because you are most deserving just like anybody else. Get what belongs to you, and that's money in your pocket. Cash is king. Money talks, bullshit walks. And if you're trying to keep up with the anime, video game, whatever it is in the world of media community, you need to have a job because it is an expensive interest, it is an expensive endeavor, and most of all, it is an expensive hobby. So good luck to all of you anime fans out there, and video game fans, and music, and people in the world of China, Asia, Korea, Japan, whatever part of East Asia you are into. Good luck in supporting your interests, because remember, you need a job. So get out there and let that employer know this is why you are deserving of that job. And you will, and you will go out there and invade their dreams until you get that job. All right, go out there and get that job. Oh, yes. And say cookie. <laughs>